Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of This Made My Week. Today I have an eclectic episode prepared for you. We're going to be talking about some truly fun and inspiring things. So if you are craving this uplifting, good vibes kind of, kind of energy, you are in the right place at the right time. So get comfy and let's get started. One of the reasons why I adore creating content on this channel is, you know, I always talk about supporting heart-centered businesses and when I find something online, I cannot wait to come here, sit in this chair and share everything together with you. They inspire me so much and today, I have a starter for you to tell you about that totally stole my heart, that totally made my week. I love everything about this company and about these founders. Let me tell you. So basically, two Australian guys, they created the very first mobile brick factory in the world and they make bricks that are Lego shaped. And not only do they do that, but the most important part is that those bricks are made out of the rubble. The idea for this factory came to one of the co-founders when he saw a Ukrainian woman sitting in front of her collapsed house in front of the rubble and giving an interview to a journalist. He saw her and he thought to himself, I gotta help her and I can help her. So they created this factory, which is so efficient, which is so easy to use. In my eyes, they're magicians. I have no idea how they did that. But basically, it can fit into one of the shipping containers, so it's not too big. It doesn't take a lot of energy because they take the rubble and they mix it with cement kind of uh, texture material, so they don't need any heat to bake the regular bricks. So it can be run on the regular generator. So it's small, it works really fast, and it doesn't take a lot of energy. It's perfect for war affected areas. The machine can make up to 8,000 bricks per day. So they estimate that in three days, it is enough to build 10 small homes or one big school kind of building. That's incredible. That is so fast. I love the quote from one of the co-founders. He says, if you're a doctor, do your thing. But for me, I make bricks, so I do my thing. You could say it's a labor of love. He said it with tears in his eyes on their website. I'm gonna leave all the links in the description box. They have a wonderful video there where they go more in depth of their story, their background, the machine, so go and check them out. And please, if you can, if you have spare five euros, five dollars, please, donate. One machine costs about 120,000 Australian dollars. That is not expensive at all. That is so doable. We can all together come together and help people to rebuild their homes, rebuild their communities and rebuild their countries and essentially rebuild humanity. And for the end, Slava Ukraini. Glory to our brothers and sisters in Ukraine. I'm in awe of your strength, of your power, of your resilience, of your togetherness, of your bravery. Thank you for fighting for democracy. We owe, The whole world owes to you. We see you and we will help you to rebuild your homes. You know, truthfully, this week is kind of sad and that is because the summer is officially over. And it's difficult, it's like an inner conflict because I love summer and I love fall and I don't want either of them to end. So, but one of the most beautiful things and traditions in Lithuania that I absolutely love and I really want to share it with you that makes my week and my year every single, single year <laughs> is the fact that we celebrate September the 1st. I've never seen this tradition in any other countries where I lived. So. On September the 1st we have the date where everybody all the students whether they go to school or to universities that is the day when everybody goes back to school and on September the 1st it's usually a celebration everybody kind of gathers together there's music there are speeches they introduce either new teachers or they welcome new students to the school somebody sings or says speeches but it's just like a lovely getting together it's a lovely celebration it's a celebration all over the country so on that day in the morning you see students 
everywhere on streets with flowers. They usually bring flowers to their teachers on the first day. And I don't know, it's like such a lovely transition from summer vacation into, you know, the more serious academic season. And I also like that we all do it together at the same time. It's clear, everybody knows it, that after the September the 1st, we go back to study. Because every single time I talk to my sister who lives in the US, I'm like, when the nephews are starting school? And each year, it's different. And they both, my, or both of my nephews, they start school at different times. And I'm like, I don't know, that I never got used to it. I love this tradition in Lithuania that I have. So congratulations to all the students who are going back to school or your university this year. May the year be fruitful with new um, information, with new education. May your path be easy and may you learn a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats! Okay, but if you want to stay in this childlike fun kind of energy, I have a TikTok for you. This guy is having so much fun. He's fully in his joyous energy. He's fully present and it's so beautiful to watch. You know, I don't want to spoil it. Uh, you're about to see it, but I wanted to say that what he is doing, that was actually my biggest fear when I was a child. I was always afraid that that's going to happen. It never happened, but still. For some, it's a dream. For some, it's a fear. But I envy this guy when I watch this TikTok. I want to do it now. Check it out. Oh, shit! Yo! You got it! That really looked like a dream come true. So fun. And you know what else is fun? When boomers try to talk in our current slang and like current sayings. I saw another TikTok that totally made my day. Like I laughed so hard and it's a lady promoting her Airbnb and her daughter wrote the script for the ad for the TikTok. And I wanna go and stay there. I wanna meet both of them, the mother and the daughter who wrote the script. It's so cool, check it out. Our bed and breakfast is 880 years old, no cap. See the garden, it's giving relaxation, it's giving zen. The medieval dining room has so much riz. The Georgian panelled room understood the assignment. Slay, see how the Victorian windows let in a lot of light. Very considerate, very mindful, very demure. Slay, whether you need to recover from a brat summer or a menti bee, this is the place for you. Slay. All right, moving forward, a little bit more serious note. Have you ever heard a phrase noise pollution? Well, I never heard of it before until I found this article and a video about a man named Gordon Hampton who built his life around it and created his career as an acoustics ecologist. Gordon does, he provides us insights how we perceive different environments based on the sounds that we hear in that environment. And he also emphasizes the importance of silence and what effect it has onto us. He says that in the world at the moment, there are barely any areas left that are not affected by modern world and human beings. And I never thought about it before. But truly, now that I think, even when I go into the nature, into the woods, I can hear something in the background, whether that's a plane flying above, I can hear a tractor somewhere in the background working, you know, or cars passing by on the highway. There's always something man-made 
you can't really hear just nature anymore. And in this video, I'm going to share all the links in the description box and everything. You will see Gordon walking around with his microphone and he shows like all the sounds, what is happening. And it's such a beautiful video visually and acoustically. It's not too long. It's about seven minutes long. It's almost like when I was watching it, it felt like I was meditating. I highly recommend for you to go and see it for yourself and enjoy the silence and feel the difference when the sound switches from the nature to the city. It's incredible. It made my week. I keep thinking about it. I'm sure you will enjoy it too. Link is in the bio. Okay, these were all the things that I wanted to share with you this week. I hope that this video uplifted your spirits, inspired you. And if you need something additional, I wanted to say that take an example from the brick company, from the man on the swings, from the ladies advertising Airbnb and use this creative childlike energy to create and build the life that you want. Go play, go have fun. This is what we're here for. And in the meantime, make your own week, make someone's week. And if you have a good story or good news to share, send me an email and I will share it with everybody else. Thank you for tuning in, for watching till the very end. I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye.